and say, man, y'all ain't know who it is. Pull up like money, get money. We ain't never slumming on God. Hey, hey, hey. JBT Gang. JBT Gang. Let's get at it. Let's get at it. Okay, man. Yes, sir. Pull up like money. Like money. Hop out. Let's get it. Let's get at it. Winning our clients what? with the business. Uh-huh. Getting the money. Stacking our paper. Woo. We ain't never slumming deuces up to the haters. Pull up like money. Like money. Hop out. Let's get it. Yeah. Winning. Our clients what? with good business uh-huh. getting the money, stacking our paper. Woo. We ain't never slumming deuces up to them haters. On God. Go on. What's going on, JVT family? It's your boy Justin, the entrepreneur, music known as J Swall here with my good man El Monsi behind the lens. And today I'm gonna bring you a new toy. Well, not necessarily a toy, but a new tool you have here, which is a rigid brand. This is a bandsaw. You know, you could be using it for all different uh, type of applications where you need to cut like metal objects or PVC pipe or things of that nature. This is a compact one, of course. It only has a two and a uh, half inch width and about, I think a three inch depth, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, this is a new tool I picked up. I say, well, first, let me say that I've never actually used a bandsaw before, so this will be my first time trying this out. Um, Milwaukee's a good brand, of course. Everybody, you know, Milwaukee has a brushless version. This does have, it uh, runs the motor off my brush, you know, when it operates and turning the blade and whatnot like that. But this is the thing. Um, I researched this little bad boy right here, had good reviews. Um, I seen what it could do, so I want to see it for myself in action. And, um, Gonna be cutting up a few things today. We cutting up this, we're giving it a test out. Uh, not the file cabinet thing, but all the rest of the items here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, also, like I say, reason why I like Rigid is because they offer you a lifetime warranty on all their products. So I think that's pretty dope, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, for any reason this thing should fail within the next five to ten years, as long as you register it online, you're good to go. You know, keep your receipts and everything for that. But uh, yeah, so just especially when you get little awkward things, like if you ever didn't want to take up so much space and you don't want to get a sawzall because it's just going to be doing that hack hacksaw action and it might not even cut it necessarily as smooth as you like it to be, then, you know, if need be, invest in this, it'll uh, help out a lot. So like I said, never used one before, be my first time, and uh, I'm just going to cut straight through just like anything and then let El Muncy see what he's thinking of you. Let's see how I do. Oh yeah, and this thing right here has different settings, numbers right here. So of course, if you put it on the lowest setting, it's not gonna, you know, motor not gonna allow it to go as fast. But you put it all the way on six, put it on number six right there, it goes faster, of course. So I'm just gonna test it out maybe like around three. Let's see what this does do. Let's see where I wanna cut the bad boy at. Try to cut it here, 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 here. Thinking like here and here, flip it here, and then just see how it do. So, and I know guys, so forgive me. I know technically, I already got gloves. I should be wearing eye protection and everything. So, I'm already shot. Turn it up there. Let's see. Try six. Notice like a little guard. He rests the blade against this part right here. Right. There you go. Yeah. That cut through a lot better. Turn the motor up. Okay. Good. Let's try it again. Right. Okay. Like I said, I'm new to this, but 
for the most part, it's cutting pretty smooth. You don't see too much uh, burring right here around the edges. You know what I'm saying? Like the little rigid marks where you cut something, so it's not a lot of burring on it. But so far, I like it, you know? Um, Someone's all could do it too, but sometimes cutting things like this is just make a lot more rough, uh, jagged edge cuts. And of course, a lot of people who use them um, and trades use these things too for different applications. Okay, that was my smooth. That's all I did, bro. Hold on, shit. I just basically had it started running, mm -hmm. the guard all the way up. Then I just like a chain, so I let it. You know, I ain't really rock. I just let it cut through. Let it feed through. Yeah. yeah. Pretty nice. So far, I like it, y'all. That's it. Damn it. Yeah, <laughs> there you have it. It's cutting. Don't draw me a little uh, operator here, but it's cutting now. It's doing, it's doing what it do. So far, even though it's not brushless, a little, uh, the rigid has power. And like I say, it's, it's, it's more, you got better control when you, of course, keep your hand here on the grip and just guide it down and cut. And on the highest setting, it's cutting smooth like butter. Some of the jaggedness uh, was because of me. But uh, other than that, I like it. Other than that, I like it a lot. Something small as this one, I ain't gonna sweat. Just throw it in the metal, though. The main reason I like doing this stuff is because you don't got to worry about it if you wanted to like load this somewhere being all crazy. You know? And as you see, this is what we're doing with cycling. Like Probably try it on some little black folding thing. How you think it's gonna work out for you, man? Mm -hmm. Easy there you sweet. go. It's all live action right here on the spot. If you want to get another pair of gloves, you can. One second, y'all. Yep. And then you gotta put your hand on the other hand. Grab. No, no. What would you like, right or? Do it feel easier on this side of the door or on that side? Yeah. Because the whole kill is you want to get it right in between that band. Where that, uh, so that blade is. Yeah. And start it before you start cutting and put the guard all the way up. Up against it. Yeah.
that smooth like butter. Let's do the other side. Raise her ass up, or you can do it right there. We like to play. Hey, hey, there you go. Like the party. Just like a charm. Yep. There you go. Would you say it's a little more, even though it's, it's a difference in holding it, what's one thing you could say you notice a difference from that and the saws on? The, 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 light, the, the, the lightness. And then the way that it holds, um, usually the saws so kind of hold it like, in this type of action with the hand up under the front of the hilt and you know what I'm yeah and, you know what i'm saying so so you say this feels lighter yeah and then the way that you actually holding it is not like you would think it would be weird but it's not right because like you said by it being just you literally cutting down you only gotta add no force it's literally just stocks like it cuts and then boom it goes down to like the next section and then it goes, yep you know what I'm And that joint just like start mm -hmm. cutting, and it don't drop. Yeah. So like another uh, part of the joint just start cutting more. Yeah. It's nice. Well, basically, guys, so far, Ridge is doing good. I give it an A so far. And like you said, like you said, like a saw, sometimes you can just take your little hand and just mm -hmm. maneuver it. Uh, no way. Slight force to it. Man, I, thought you, I thought you were slicing a loaf of butter or something. Man, I thought I was slicing bread. Hey, <laughs> damn near. Bread and butter. I love it. Yeah. Bread, bread, bread. So, you guys, so far, I give it an A. I don't know what it would take just yet. Maybe something a little more. I might try one day on a denser metal, like some with more thickness to really put it to a test. But I'm sure it will cut through it as well because these are fairly light pieces we're cutting through. But that might be a little bit more thicker right there. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try to. We'll try to bear it. I'll see what it do. It's still kind of skinny though, but I'm talking about like maybe something with like a a one inch or an inch and a half diameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah with a thicker hold. You know what I'm saying? More girth. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> then that bitch. Then we'll really see what's cracking to it. Yeah. yeah. But that's all, man. The tool, the tool is nice, man. The tool is it's, it's a good tool. Like I say, the rigid. Uh, rigid is a good one, but if you don't want to do rigid, go Milwaukee. Can't go wrong with a Milwaukee. Either. Nope, Milwaukee is there. That's what they say. Hey. All right. Last shot, do this. <sighs> so what do you think would be the safest way to cut it? Do you want like so lean? It, do you want lean it? Right here with this, with so do you want to lean it on this so you can have like a. Let me move my gloves. Mm-hmm. All right, yep. I had to try to put my foot up on it because it was basically just like a chainsaw when the hole closed up on you, yeah. and it's gonna stop it. Yeah, I see, I started seeing the blade starting to slightly uh, walk along. It's there. cool. Like, nah, it's not. It ain't like fully warped. Like a, like a okay. but they got extra blades and stuff for it too. That motherfucker ain't bad, y'all can see. Yep. Even with that, even type of little metal like this, little, little, whatever, whatever. But as you still can see, what's that cut? That's smooth. Smooth like butter, baby. There you go. There you go. And by no means, like I say, first time. Never really used one. Wasn't the best cuts, but we did have some good cuts out of both cut series. So um, overall, I like it. 
I intend to use it a lot more. You see it in jobs videos. So you guys uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Do you personally use them all the time? Or if not, if not the rigid brand, what brands do you all use? What do you like? Let me know. I mean, what professions do you use them in? If any of you guys do construction or demolition or renovations and things of that nature. So like I said, I like rigid because of the warranty and it has a pretty good build to it too. It's lightweight, it's not built cheap. And it's safe. Yeah. There's really no way, it really shouldn't be no reason why or no way how you cut yourself. Unless you're just not paying attention. The blade is really going down. So it's no way that anything that was on your person should be in the well, way of the blade. I can say you this. Just don't put your finger on anything near where you're cutting. Oh, that's nah. just common that's, sense. That's, that's it. That's or that. your hand or anything. If it cut through metal like that, your finger's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put it, just put it that way. <laughs> With that being said, we out. There you go. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the battery life. Got three bars left. You know, we weren't cutting that long. It isn't a, exactly a huge battery. It's only a four amp, four amp battery. So for it to still have three bars, that's pretty decent, pretty decent. Like you say, lightweight, it cut fast, efficient. It didn't really bog down unless it got pinched. You know what I'm saying? He, it's, the blade not bent or nothing. Maybe he thought it looked like that. The blade's still straight, so. But other than that, that's what the back side look like. And we got an extra blade with a tool and we need to change it. So far, I'm impressed, guys. Can't wait to use it more.